Hey guys, it's Chief from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video. Today, I have five exhibition head-to-head -head games that I played throughout the week. I cut each game down to the highlights, and I'm presenting it to you guys this first game against Nick Jays. At the beginning of each game's highlights, I'll show the pitching matchup, I'll show the lineups, and then we'll show the highlights of the games. So here we go with two outs in the top of the seventh. Chris Davis hits a solo home run to right center to give me a 1-0 lead. This was a pretty well-played game. I then followed that up with a double, and then with two outs, Jorge Posada singles to center. Driving in, I believe that was John Carlos Stanton on second to give me a 2-0 lead. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Uh, two outs, there was nobody on. Then a high fly ball to straightaway center field, but Jim Edmonds with the error drops the ball. I did not pay billions of coins for that. So now Troy to Lewitsky on first, and then Jay Bruce got on as well, so first and second, two outs. Russell Martin hits a grounder, and another error, but thankfully my players recover for an out. Gameville giving me a huge heart attack there, almost doubling down on errors with two outs to make me give up runs. And then Posada struck out. I wanted to give credit where credit's due. He got my legend to strike out. Very well done. Now we're in the bottom of the ninth. And Jim Edmonds here will redeem himself with the diving catch for out number one. 0 2 count with one out. And Johanna Cespedes strikes out. And then with a runner on first and two outs, go for the pickoff. Called his bluff on the steal. And boom. Game over. 2 0. I beat Nick Jays. It was a great game. So very well played, Nick Jays. Game number two was against Chose 2 Live. Um, he had his Jake Arietta going. I believe I had my Sonny Gray going. You can see my team and its mood, his team and its mood. Then we'll jump into the gameplay here. So I got two singles in my first set bass to get first and third, nobody out. Chris Davis ropes a single to you right to give me a 1-0 lead. Not the most glamorous hit, but it got the job done. Ramirez moves up to third. Very next batter, John Carlos Stanton, hits the ball to left. It is caught by Melky Cabrera, but Hanley Ramirez will score from third on the sack fly to make it a 2-0 game. Now Jorge Posada got a single to make it first and second. Nolan Arenado at the plate, and he's going to hit one to left center for a long single. Posada moves over to third. Davis scores, and it's a 3-0 ball game. So the bats are going early for me in this one. Now Ozzy Albies up. The very next batter here, and that is smacked to the right center field gap. That's to the wall, or pretty close to it. Albies is going to get the double with the speed. Both runners score, and it is now a 5-0 ball game. Still only one out. Ryan Braun at the plate. And he hits that to left off the base of the wall. We're going to hold Braun at first, but Albies will score to make it a 6-0 game. Now with two outs and Braun at second, Jim Edmonds with his second at-bat of the inning crushes it to left field, but he gets robbed of the home run. So I scored six in the top of the seventh. Edmonds got robbed. But such is the nature of MLB Perfect Inning 2018. Then my opponent chose to live, gets the double, and I was completely unaware there, didn't notice he sent his runner to third. So he got a triple out of it, made it a 6-1 ball game. And then... Joey Vado hits it to left center for a double. 
that makes it a 6-2 ball game. So at this point, giving up two runs, only having one out, it seems like it's going to be an offensive explosion. 2-2 count, two outs now. And I get the strikeout to get out of the jam. On to the eighth inning now. After getting two outs, Stanton hit a double. Setting up for us the RBI single from Jorge Posada to make it a 7-2 ball game. And then Nolan Arenado at the dish. Sees a pitch he likes and hammers it to right center for a two-run homer. Makes it a 9-2 ball game. Not much happened until the top of the ninth, where Jim Edmonds, in his next at bat after getting robbed of a home run, hits his first live action head to head home run for me and makes it an 11 to 2 ball game. We're now at one out in the bottom of the ninth. And Jim Edmonds makes a diving catch to redeem himself against Melky Cabrera, who robbed him of the home run. So karma settled itself, and then Sonny Gray got the strikeout to end the game and secure the 11-2 win. Um, you know, certainly chose to live, played a decent game. My offense was just on point. He wanted to play again, so here we go. We're playing a second game. And... Through nine innings, I had two hits, he had no hits. So in the top of the 10th, we have a runner on first and two outs. Why am I showing this? I want to show you how close I was to scoring a run without scoring a run. Right, so I'm sending my runners. I have the runner halfway home, and I call him all the way back. He threw to first. My runner would have scored if I kept sending him home. Instead, it's first and third. So now I'm relying on Ozzy Albies to break the tie. And he's going to line out to second. At this point, though, I have a no-hitter. I have a perfect game, in fact. One out in the bottom of the 10th. 2-1 count. Going to bring the slider low. And he somehow predicts it perfectly. Hits a solo home run and wins 1-0. So congratulations, chose to live. We split the series 1-1. Uh, I kind of you know left the game early. A little bit salty, not going to lie. But then these last two games are both against Leighton 06. Last year in MLB Perfect Inning Live, a couple of our games were honestly some of the best games that I played on the channel, just in terms of being well-balanced, back-and-forth, competitive. So, you know, when we were playing, I'm like, okay, these are going to be good games. And here we go, top of the seventh, one-out runner on second. I get the RBI single to take a 1-0 lead. Now I'm showing this. My dad needed me to help him out. In the middle of the game It's really inconvenient. But just so you guys can see, I did go on auto mode. I'm not trying to make excuses for how this game turned out. Um, you know, the result is the result. I wanted to show it, whatever it is. But just so you guys can see, and then we've sped up. His rally, where he'll get a few hits. This was just after the end of the NBA Finals Game 1 when J.R. Smith made the stupidest play in NBA history. Boomy gets another hit, makes it a 1-1 game. Then fly out to right, will get the sack fly and give Leighton a 2-1 lead. We skip ahead to two outs in the top of the eighth. That's when I finally rejoined the game with a 1-2 count. I actually managed to get first and second two outs in the top of the ninth by a line out to center to lose two to one. If I was playing the whole game, who knows if it would have gone differently or not. Well, we're about to find out. I wanted to give Leighton credit for getting the win, but thankfully he understood the situation and agreed to do a rematch. And I was hoping, you know, show that my pitching is solid and that it was just a fluke, but then give up a two-run homer. So he has a 2-0 lead right after he had a 2-1 lead. We're now in the bottom of the eighth with one out. He completely shut me down in the seventh. I'm thinking, oh boy, maybe playing again, I'm just going to get beat worse. Well, there we go. RBI single starts to give me 
signs of life. Now first and second with one out in the bottom of the eighth. And that is a single two left to tie the game at two to two. So at this point, I'm feeling good about my offense again. And now Ryan Braun at the plate hits it to left. That's another single, another run, and a 3-2 game. And this rally you're about to see the rest of the way is why hitting for singles is oftentimes superior to hitting for home runs. We get another single, another run scores. It's 4-2. to two. At this point, you know, feeling pretty good about the lead I have. And then another single, another run, now 5-2. to two. These are all back-to-back-to-back at bats, not getting extra base runners, not, you know, getting any outs. Then Chris Davis goes down, gets a single, makes it 6-2. to two. At this point... It's kind of gone from me being worried about losing to me not being too worried about not winning. I crap this because, you know, notifications show up. It's kind of irritating. But there we go. A two-run double makes it 8-2. to two. After this, I did get an out. Or, sorry, my opponent got an out on me. And then Nolan Arenado bloops a single to right to push the game to 9-2. to two. After this point, I do believe the rally ended. We're now in the top of the ninth with two outs. And that ball's hit to right for out number three, securing the 9-2 win for me. Great games to Layton, to Chose, to Live, and to Next Jays. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning 2018 content. By the way, guys, I'm Gia from Skull Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, peace out.